Hello and welcome to another Big Data on AWS course from Cloud Academy. In this course, we focus on Amazon Big Data Services, which are designed to store data. This course is part of a larger learning path that covers the broad range of Big Data Services available from AWS. This course assumes you have a good understanding of cloud computing in AWS and that you are proficient with provisioning and using services within AWS. Ideally, you also have some background and understanding of big data. There are a large number of AWS big data services available and this course is designed to provide the initial core concepts required for each of these services and to assist people in passing the AWS Big Data Specialty Exam. A little bit about me. My name is Shane Gibson, and I've worked in the area of data and business intelligence for over 20 years. And for the last three years, I've been focusing on how we can use agile processes and cloud computing technologies to accelerate the delivery of data and content to our users. I was born and still live in New Zealand. I love craft beer and good coffee. And you can learn more about me by following either my Twitter or my LinkedIn. At the end of this course, you'll be able to describe in detail how Amazon Big Data Services can be used to store data within a big data solution. In this Big Data on AWS Learning Path, we cover the many AWS Big Data services that can be used to collect, store, process, analyze, visualize, and secure big data. In this course, we provide three modules which cover the big data storage services of Amazon. Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon RDS, and Amazon Redshift. Each of these three big data storage services can be used on their own or in combination with each other to provide storage capabilities for your big data solution. Each of these storage services have specific strengths that make them more suitable for the storage of different types and volumes of data, and we discuss these as we progress through the course. In each of the modules, we cover which processing and storage patterns the storage services fits within, the architecture of the service, as well as the core concepts that will help you understand that service in detail. We also cover the service limits for each service where applicable. At the end of the three modules, we will have a wrap up with a quick overview of a reference architecture which uses these three services. So let's begin and find out how we can store big data using the Amazon Web Services capabilities.